All right, so to do this problem, I'm going to first look at the Lewis structures because they're a little bit more simple. So we have CN in all cases. Um, and the only thing that's going to differ here are the number of electrons that we have. So in CN plus, we get four from carbon, five from nitrogen for a total of nine, and then we lose one because we have a positive charge. So it has eight electrons here are just going to be nine, like I said earlier. And then for CN minus, we have 10 because there's an extra um, one from that minus charge. So for this first one, we know that we're definitely going to have to have a bond here. And if we have eight electrons, then we can only fill up essentially one octet. So we're going to need a triple bond here. And then I'm going to fill carbon's octet. And that's going to leave nitrogen um, with essentially a non-filled octet. Um, so that's not going to be very stable from Lewis perspective because it's violating the octet rule. We can't form a quadruple bond, so there's nothing we can do about that. For this bond, we have nine electrons. So again, we're going to start with this triple bond. We're going to fill up carbon's octet, and then nitrogen gets one. We could have also drawn it with nitrogen having two and carbon only having one. The advantage here is that carbon is now neutral. Um, this is a lone electron pair. It's also not going to be very stable. And then for CN minus, we draw these six in the middle, and we have four left over, so we can fulfill each octet. So let's keep in mind that these are minus and these are our plus. For the molecular orbital diagram, um, all of the diagrams are going to look the same, so I'm just going to draw one diagram um, and then fill in a different number of electrons. So we start with our s orbitals here, our sigma, when they become molecular orbitals. And we'll go into the pi electrons, which have like this. Since uh, carbon and nitrogen are in the first half, these pi electrons are lower in energy than the sigma. And they're followed up by their antibonding pairs. So if we're going to fill this up with eight electrons, I'm going to put the bonding ones in green and the antibonding ones in red. So this is four. And then we get to fill five, six, seven, eight. And now that's what it look like for eight electrons. For nine electrons, we put one in here. And for 10 electrons, we put another one in here. So since these last two electrons went into bonding orbitals, that's going to make it more stable. So for this one, it agrees that uh, for the molecular orbital diagram, it agrees that this CN minus is going to be the most stable. And for Lewis, we also have this as the most stable. Because it's the only one that we can fulfill two octets in um, without any sort of one electron pairs or missing octets. So yeah, so this is the most stable for both of them. Um, and they do agree in this case.